Hello, Reza is here. Welcome to another tutorial. Here we will model a robot gripper. So let me go to modeling tab. That's where we can model the components that we want to give them capability to be used in simulation. Then let's click on geometry. And here is a SOLIDWORKS file, a 3D file of a two finger gripper. When we select that, we can select the structure to be just feature but the selection quality let's just leave it as medium we'll get the material and markups from the file and then let's have the feature tree to be collapsed and organized geometry collapsed as well and we import the file in case that this file would be too detailed it's better that you lighten it and by going, for example, to Tools, and then Count Triangle, you can count the triangles of the active component. This is 3,700, which is quite decent size of triangle. So in case you have a lot of details and bolts and whatnot that you don't need there, screws, bolts, two detailed meshes, then you can simplify your geometry. But of course, I wouldn't touch this fingers because those are the ones that are used in the pick and place and those details are essential for us so so far if i click over here we can see that one collapse geometry is available for us to modify so i would right click tools and let's explode it because i want to select the fingers if i click over here now beautiful so this is one finger already made for us and over here we have the issue that this finger is still attached to the body below it. So I would right click, tools, explode again. So now we have the second finger selected for us. And right now I would right click here and I want to extract a link. If we wanted that to be a new component, then extract the component. But this is just an, a link, which is another finger. This one is now finger one, which is named link one. Of course, I can just change the name over here as well. But I would just leave it as it is. And then right click on this finger, extract another link. So link two. And then if we click on link two and then go under the root node, you can see that there is this geometry of second finger under the link two. Let's go back to link one. On the right side, there is the joint type. And we have the fixed joints, rotational, transitional, and the followers, and then also the custom. So here, this is basically a transitional because it just goes here to the right direction and back. Transitional. And if I a little bit zoom over here, and we are now in the move mode, and you see a little arrow here. So this transitional axis is plus C, but I change it to plus X and you see that the arrow shows that this is the direction of our finger. I'm happy with that. Let's have a controller, new servo controller, and then what's the minimum and maximum limit? These we need to define. So the current limit is zero, and then the max limit we need to define. But for now, let's just go to the second link. And over here, I would go to fixed. And this one could be transitional, but we can simply put it as transitional follower, which is going to follow the other finger, right? Using this servo controller J1. And what do I mean by this here? This interact. And if I now use the interact tool, you see that. It's a bit looking funny, but still the joint or finger two is following finger one, but in a not so proper axis. So the axis, if I go back to move and then use the minus X, so it's that direction. Let's go back to interact to interact with the fingers. Yep, it looks fine. 
and there are a few components here that are buzzing me a bit so I would just clean these up they don't really affect my simulation so I don't need them so I'm selecting them and pressing the delete button on my keyboard or then just select them and there is a delete button here or then right click and then press delete there are different ways to delete them very nice there are also a few other geometries here actually that could be cleaned up but that I would leave up to you and then let's go to home tab if I have this manipulation mode of interact selected again and there is a joint so my mouse cursor shape changes let's just open it and you see over here this is like 30 30 millimeters so let's just put the max limit to be 30 when it's closed it's zero well this is not zero now I can just make it zero and press enter this is zero and if it goes to 30 and press enter this is like when it's open I'm happy with that there is also this little geometry here that I could remove let's go back to modeling tab press reset so it closes and let me just remove this first so I would just delete it press reset and let's click on link 1 Remember that link one is the main link. So I would just set the limits minimum and maximum for the link one. And then what I would do is to set some material. This is really white and kind of dull. So let's just go to tools, assign. And here we can assign some material in the library. I don't know what material we would put here to be honest, but let's just improvise. So I would make this brass it's not gonna be a cheap gripper i would tell you if you use this type of material oh, i would like to make the fingers from copper beautiful well brass and copper that's one quite expensive gripper i can tell you based on this raw material that i selected okay so far so good we have the fingers uh, but we don't have the functionality of a gripper yet there so what I'm going to do is to select the component and then go to the extra group and there is the wizard and we have the end effector wizard. If you hold your mouse cursor over it, there is some explanation. What does it do, this wizard? You can also read about it in the help file by pressing F1, go to the help file of visual components. So right now, if I click on controls, there is possibility to create input outputs you can make this also an external axis of the robot and then both i would just select simply input outputs tool center point add a tool center point yes please and the input signals two separate signals to open and close you can also make it one action signal so when you select it it's true a true signal would be for example open and a false signal closed or vice versa that's up to you to define and right now I would just select it as it is so the false signal will be closed and if it's true then the gripper opens and well J1 is my controller and it will have the current state well you can define like open or closed current state is closed and there will be action port connected from the robot is 100 and then two outputs are sent to the robot to inform it that is it open now or is it closed now i'm happy with this so let's press apply and right now if i go on the behaviors you'll see that quite a few behaviors are added so there is the server controller that was created when we made the links but here we have the interface the end of arm tool behavior there is the tool container if i expand it you'll see a beautiful tcp laying here and then the gripper logic which opens and closes the gripper for us and then the signals let's go to home tab now so our gripper is ready wait one thing i forgot to check is our base and tcp actually so the tcp right now is over here and i am in the manipulation mode of move so the tcp is right now down there let me just bring it up here somewhere 
So if I go to front, and in case that I grab the Z axis and I'm holding down shift on my keyboard, I can just set it, for example, it could be over here if you wanna put it in between the fingers. What I would need to also check is the mount frame. So this frame that is under the root node of the component. And that looks to be correct location. But in case that you have the mount frame in a location that needs to be changed, then just, well, just change. Go to the move mode and then move this mount frame to anywhere necessary. That will be the place that robot will be mounted. Oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> gripper will be mounted to the robot. Let me just press Ctrl Z. And if I click on this interface, and go to section. Let's have a quick look what's under this robot tool section. So there is one field as the hierarchy. Here we don't have parent selected because robot will be the parent and this will be child of the robot, this gripper. And then there is the tool export TCP, which will be exported to the robot when we connect it 